Yeah, all right. Thank you, Deborah. Well, right now, all eyes on the stock market. Uh, after weeks of volatility and sell-offs all over the world, now overnight markets in Asia closed up on news that China's economy grew nearly 7%. Here at home, the Dow down more than 390 on Friday. Remember, yesterday it was off. The market's looking to bounce back, but things, of course, can change quickly. And that's why we brought in Ed Butowski. He's one of Dallas's top wealth managers. He's here to help us through all of this turmoil. I mean, it's got a lot of people worried. We knew you'd want to know, uh, you know, if there was anything you could do. Ed, I want to start, though, with, with what we should expect to see. I mean, I think people are hopeful we might see an uptick today. Right. But, but I think a lot of people worried what's going to happen over the rest of the year. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a great question. To understand what's going to happen the rest of the year, you have to know what's happening right now. And what's happening now is all about earnings. Companies will go up or down based if they're earning enough money based on the forecasts. Okay, it sounds okay. a little complicated. It's not. Companies have already moved up in anticipation of making a certain amount of money. Right. And if analysts see that that's not going to happen, they're going to pull back their estimates. All right. China, everyone's talking about China. Guess what? It isn't China. The world is slowing down. China has slowed down. So everyone's talking about it. So if the economy in the world picks up, we can see stock prices move higher towards the end of the year. Most people do not think that's going to occur. Okay. So that's why you see this massive pullback and computers are selling, Mark, right now a lot of stocks very right. quickly. So people are unnerved. People need to take a little bit of a time out, all right? <laughs> right? You know, you get caught up. I mean, you know, bring people like me on television to explain it, right. which is great. I love doing this because I want people to understand that the world is not coming to an end Good. today. Right. All right. <laughs> Well, here, here's the big question, because we, most people have mutual funds. They have long-term plans, right? We've heard right. this forever. Don't worry. Stay tight. Don't sell off. Relax. You're in for the long term. It's not a big deal. Is that the same message that people are getting now through this issue? They're, they're getting that message, and they shouldn't. A lot of financial advisors are saying, don't worry, we have a 10-year plan. But you know what? A lot of people look at their phone every 10 minutes, yeah. and their emotion takes over. So what you should have is you should have different types of investments that react differently to different economic conditions. And most financial advisors are not doing a very good job of putting portfolios together so when times like this occur, they have things that can go up. So financial advisors need to do a better job and our listeners and our, our viewers today need to call up their advisors if they have one and say you know what I need to have different types of investments in my portfolio so I didn't have a sleepless long weekend right so you're not as vulnerable that's right issues like this exactly yeah, fantastic information Ed Butaski thanks so much for joining us Thank appreciate you. it absolutely